The first week of classes will focus on helping teachers and students adjust to remote learning or the red phase because the district says even if they move into a yellow phase, there will still be days of remote learning. What's a little easier to adjust to is fall sports, which the board decided Tuesday night were good to start up. Friday night lights won't look the same this year, but sports mom Jamie Jacobson is glad to see they're still kicking off. Well, I'm a mom of four boys, high school, middle school, optimist level, Friday night flag. A recent board decision allows the student athletes to resume practice and competitions this fall. We've been doing this all summer. We have been, we've had about 2,700 kids go through our programs, and that's not to say that we haven't had cases but we have not had spread in our programs. Jacobson says following the CDH guidelines during sports can be accomplished. The kids are not pushing back on masks or hand washing. They, they'll, you know, as the athletic director said, they'll do anything to play. But many parents are wondering why sports can start up, but not in person school. Here's what the board says. Our students are in class all day long, so that's, you know, six to seven hours. Now sports, their time frame is a little shorter and we're able to keep them together in small groups. The decision to start up sports had many considerations. CDH recommendations and West Ada administration recommendations being a couple. The board did take it into consideration the hundreds of emails they received, the rallies that have been outside of our office. Back to school. It's one that they do not take lightly. It impacts 40,000 students. But what would happen if an athlete tests positive? Jack Jackson says it would not be a season ender. Well, if one player was just in close contact with one other player, for example, for 15 minutes and they didn't have their masks on, those two players would be affected. Now, if they were all together for more than 15 minutes, no social distancing, that's going to be a much larger issue. Once they move into yellow, it will take a week to shift into the hybrid model. If CDH moves them to yellow prior to the start of school on September 8th, the earliest they could begin an alternating day schedule would be September 14th. The board also decided Tuesday night if they are in yellow, pre-K and kindergarten students would go to school daily. Reporting in Boise, Jessica Taylor, Idaho News 6.